A surprisingly cheerful Ray Davies said, I suppose the most memorable one-nighter we've done recently was in Vienna. The city hall to be exact. We were on a European tour at the time, one that was going pretty smoothly, until Vienna. We played in Germany the night before, and were supposed to catch a plane in the morning to get us to Vienna in time for the show. Something happened though, the plane was cancelled, and we had to hang around the airport for about three hours. Eventually they managed to find us seats aboard another flight, a slow one. When it began to get dark we got a bit worried. We were due on stage about 9pm and the minutes were ticking away far too quickly. Luckily the airfield was quite near the hall. In fact, we flew right over it. That was funny, the roof of the hall was made of glass and we could see all the kids raving away to one of the other groups from the plane. The plane touched down with just over half an hour to go. We rushed through the airport, flashed our passports, and were away. We had a police escort to the concert hall. On arrival we immediately dashed to the dressing room to get ready. While we were doing this, Dave Duffield, our road manager, was setting up the gear. At this point, Dave Duffield joined the conversation. The road manager said, The kinks always try to take their own gear with them everywhere but usually we arrive with plenty of time to set up. I had to go on stage with all the amplifiers while the compare was chatting to the audience, who were getting a bit restless. I was bending down to plug in Ray's Vox AC30 when there was a loud explosion behind me. This seemed to be some kind of signal, for as I turned round, half the fellas in the audience started to throw fireworks onto the stage. Some of them had bottles between their legs which they used for letting off rockets. All around the stage were Austrian stormtroopers. About 300 of them, all armed with rifles. While this was a bit frightening, it also gave me a sense of security, especially with the fireworks zooming around. As the boys don't use a great deal of gear nowadays, I was able to get off the stage pretty quickly. Apart from Ray's amp, there were two AC-30s for Dave, and a Vox T60 with a 100 watt amp for John Dalton. Ray Davies joined the conversation again. Ray continued, it was a good job the plane was late for this date and not one of the others. We were only doing one show in Vienna as against two a night elsewhere. While we were getting ready, the manager came to see us. This was very handy, because we would have had to find him otherwise. We had been told by our manager to get our money before we went on. Some groups who played in Europe never saw their loot so we decided to make sure we got ours. Luckily, the manager was a very agreeable chap and after a phone call to the front of the house, somehow managed to get it. When we eventually reached the stage, the audience went mad. We opened with sunny afternoon, and then straight into all day and all of the night. The kids were great, really appreciative. One thing that impressed us was the PA system. It was a huge house system with about 200 speakers scattered throughout the hall. You need them when you have an audience of 12,000. The sound was beautiful and we managed to get a balance right away. This was very lucky because after the show we discovered that the whole act had been recorded for an Austrian radio program. We did a 30-minute spot which consisted of all our hits. When we got to Dead End Street they went wild. All the fellas were jumping around, the girls were screaming, and the old stormtroopers just stood there like a wall. Come to think of it, we weren't too far from Berlin. After the show we belted out as quickly as possible. We didn't fancy running a gauntlet of fireworks. Once again we had a police escort, this time to the hotel. With so many late nights and early starts we were beginning to get really tired. We had an average of about 3 hours sleep a night. I don't know how many miles we traveled, but in 5 days we went on 12 different flights. Good job we don't mind flying.